feeling a lot better ever since he heard. about what happened. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. Then I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator. I got you.
Get him. Outstanding! The Shiva summoning materia is complete. And now it's yours. Use it as you see fit. The Lady of Frost is the perfect companion for a man like you, Cloud. She will prove most useful when the time comes to destroy Shinra. to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. on my front door. That's what's called easy money. Hi there, cute little doggy. I'm Same so I can read a ton of books. Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Cloud, leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. <sighs> Don't take it personal. You Turks are all the same. Huh? All bark, no bite. You're one to talk. No need to 
Deal with that. I'll take care of it. Gotta him. get a little payback for my partner. Watch out for high winds. Soldier, huh? I Go see on. on you. I'm coming. Enjoy the ride. Mm. Okay then. <laughs> so, you had enough yet? No. I don't believe that I have. Just stop it. I can't. It's my job. Then think about changing your careers. <laughs> You'll be blown away! Cloud's pretty strong, isn't he? <laughs> I've seen this type before. You don't know me. Yeah, keep Shit. eyes open. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> How's that payback working out for you? Oh, better than I thought you didn't want to get rough. No, but this is self defense. Enjoy the ride. That's enough out of you. I'm just so tired. I got this. Is that it? Go on! Don't overdo it. I'll take care of them. alone you know I can't do that <clears throat> huh? hey 
there, partner. Huh? I'm but, sure you're uh, having the time of your uh, life, but we're needed on standby uh, for a job. It's something uh, about Sector 7. But, so get your ass back here now. <sighs> Understood. Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so. Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that. Huh? Wait a sec. So, you coming? talking to the Shh. so yeah it was that kind of day <sighs> let's go shouldn't keep mom waiting hey what'd they say good work today guys Kidding. They didn't say a word. But, you know... Uh, never mind. It's not like you'd believe me, after all. Hmm. Probably not. Oh. <sighs> Tell me anyway. Really? Yeah. It won't be much longer now. The flowers, they... They have something important to tell us. Something they... Need to share with us. At least, that's the feeling I get. But, before they can... There's a final step that has to be taken. Otherwise, we won't hear them. Maybe I should just give up. Honestly, it's what I do best. Could have fooled me. From what I've seen, you're no quitter. Well, today's special. That's why I've been working my butt off. Uh, what's so special about it? <laughs> okay, time to go. Learn to talk to her. Did the flower say anything? Uh, good work today, guys? <laughs> That's the spirit! Heading in already?
Yeah, that's enough for one day. Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry, we got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! <sighs> now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? Uh... I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl that could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. <sighs> hmm. Don't want to overstay my welcome. You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you.
Look who it is. Talk about a coincidence. What are you doing here? Waiting. Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. <laughs> Lead on then. With pleasure. <laughs> nothing. <sighs> you can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident, and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in. So there weren't a lot living there at the time, but... And that's? The underside of Sector 6. Wall Market. A real special place. But... I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place. Or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. And now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Want to see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. It's been like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. Together. I'll take care of them. Bundle up. Can you take over for Let's me? Let's do this. Huh? 
Let's do this. Gotcha. That's that. I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? That. A big arm. Kind of cute, don't you think? Uh. Oh, great. Someone's pulled up the ladder. I wonder if we can use this. It's this way. Here's an idea. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. Keep on trucking. Mm. Stop. Did we wake it up? Keep it together. I'll show you what I can do. You jittery? I'm 
I'm waiting. Huh? I got this. Need help? <laughs> I wonder if someone blocked it off because of all the monsters that kept showing up. Pretty dangerous place for kids to play. Raised in the slums, remember? You're tough. Hmm, that's supposed to be a compliment? Easy. now.
Looks like a dead end. I bet you can grab that container with the arm. Not half bad. So do you moonlight as a crane operator or something? <laughs> yeah? Huh? Uh, huh. <sighs> oh no, look. Why is it always gotta be so tough? Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Well then, I'm gonna head down. Okay, Cloud! Ready! a second. Gotcha. Hup. 
Okay, right there. Hold on while I drop the ladder. Jumping's not an option, that's for sure. Hmm. Look. Hmm? Someone made a campfire. If they found a way down, so can we. Okay then. Go on. Best do it right. Now, keep it together. I'll take care of them. Not too fast, okay? Got it. Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Mm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides... Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit? Doing crimes? <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages! <laughs> Kept them in a, a composite... I don't get it! Ah, 
How stupid can you be? It's crazy simple. <laughs> Compensatory damages is yeah. like, uh, uh, it's like uh, compensation for damages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you get when you, you know, when somebody else. We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, we were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. Uh, okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense, that's all. <laughs> due recompense, due recompense, due, due recompense? Uh, no shit, bro brains, due recompense. It's like, uh, uh, it's like, uh, 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 compensatory damages. Uh, of course, so damages, recompense, I get it. <laughs> I think we've heard enough. Don't leave me! I'm coming! Random question, but why did you quit being a soldier? That is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Oh. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No. Not really. Oh, okay. Huh? What we got here? Fresh meat to test our new toy on, that's what.
stupid ladders, always out of reach. Okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm, got it? Gotcha.
down for you in a sec. Pretty well. Sure did. Uh. Huh? Wait a minute. Did you just... Nope. Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, okay? Birds. If you want to pass through our territory, then you gotta pay the toll! I'm coming! Go on! You've got this! I'll show you what I can do! One more shot! You'll see! Good night. We made it! Smell the fresh air? All right, there it is. The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for- Up there looks nice. <sighs> Come on! You know, a long time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh yeah? <clears throat> so, Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Are you okay? Oh. Wow. Uh. Your eyes. Oh. It's because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah. I know. Sorry. I'm bumming you out. We should go. <sighs> Gotta look forward, not back.
Here. Hmm? This won't take long. <sighs> Ready! <sighs> Wanna get to Sector 7 in style? This is the passageway for you. So... <laughs> Go ahead. You gonna be okay getting home? And if I said I wasn't? I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies. And it's safer, too. Guess this is it then. Ready? Yeah. lost you. What's going on? Shh. I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven, meet up with the gang. But... I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? I have. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Oh, no, you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. <sighs> Come on! Okay. Come on, Cloud! We gotta hurry! Hey there. Where are you headed? You gave a ride to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd you say to me, you little... What's all the ruckus out here? Hmm. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl of yours? Guess. We want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, what's she look like? Well... Oh. 
Um, she's a great fighter. I'm not sure that helps. Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. <laughs> oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his tastes better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon. If at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? What are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. <clears throat> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. Welcome to Walmart, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. Relaxation, the sweet embrace of pretty ladies. Oh, that's Chocobo what I mean. bean popcorn here. to enter. That is the question. Wherefore does this philosophical quandary torment me? You totally get where I'm coming from, right? <laughs> I knew it! Let me guess. After you've had your fun, you fall into a spiral of shame and self-loathing. But it only lasts a moment, doesn't it? Next thing you know, you're right back here again. Huh? Got a question for me? Seen Tifa around? Tifa? My love? My light? Who are you, and how do you know her? No, shut up. I don't care. Tifa's here? Why? Tell me why! Oh, God, no. I did this to her, didn't I? She came looking for me to beg me not to leave her. <gasps> Snap out of it, Johnny. Your Tifa needs you. Tifa, I'm coming, baby! Who was that? Nobody you want or need to know. Look, the doors are about to open. Mars, yeah. Such a beautiful night. What are you talking about? It's the same old city. Huh? 
They call themselves the bankers. Nothing gets the blood pumping like a Coliseum tournament. Welcome to Walmart's premier weapon shop. Ah, so they're both collectors. That feud's got Do come again. Check it out. Uh... I think we might have found our man. And he's a gaudy one. Yeah. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Walmart, kid. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Dung's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on, can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. <sighs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. Aerith, you sure about this? If you've got any better ideas... Not really. So that's the <laughs> way it is, hmm? Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But, to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope.
feel so alive watching those crazy. Hey there, sweetie. 